False alarms are one of the industry's biggest challenges, but now advanced video analytics can dramatically reduce this costly problem. Ethersec Industries has developed powerful artificial intelligence that mimics the way humans recognise each other. Our intrepid reporter John Briggs decided to put it to the test. Jodrell Bank Observatory, part of Manchester University's Centre for Astrophysics, where scientists look back into distant galaxies and to the beginning of time. But I'm here to look at the future, the future of the security industry, and to ask whether artificial intelligence is any match for a rather resourceful reporter. You didn't see me, OK? Meet Deep AI, the brainchild of Dr Adam Wacey. It is what it says it is. It's an artificial intelligence. And it's trying to replicate the uh, mechanisms that humans use in order to understand the world that's around them. Deep AI's unique capability is that it manages to recognise human beings, and only human beings, no matter what environment they happen to be in. And that gives fewer false alarms. What Deep AI does is it's got excellent algorithms. It's the quality of its differentiation, its discriminatory units, which is built into it, which allows it to very, very quickly make that distinction between human and non-human. In an environment like this, most motion detector cameras would already have triggered. So can Deep AI manage to differentiate me from this environment? Oh, and you still haven't seen me. OK. It's not how they move, it's how they look. The important point is how they look. Human beings have got arms, we've got legs, we move, uh, we can be viewed from all sorts of different angles and in all sorts of different lights. We're about as hard a problem as it's possible to get. Say hello to Daisy and her friends. How can the camera tell me from any other warm-blooded mammals in this field? Surely only a human being sitting in a control room nearby watching the screens can actually differentiate me from any of these guys. If you have a human looking at 16 cameras, 38% of the time they won't be able to identify uh, an alarm event as it occurs. Deep AI doesn't sleep, doesn't take time off, doesn't get bored. It frees people's time up. They don't actually have to spend time constantly looking and saying, what's going on? Is there somebody out there? Once you get an alarm and a person has been detected, you can choose where you want that alarm to be recognised. Most people would recognise the alarm on their cell phone. So they will see the cameo shot of that intruder at that point in time. And then they can decide what they want to do. Call the police, call a security agency, all of which we can help them with. The applications for such a device are numerous. Areas with large perimeters, such as farms and warehouses, can benefit. But similarly, nursing homes that need to keep track of patients. Ethersec have designed the software to function very much like the human brain. And even in an ever-changing environment like this one, whenever it sees a human being, it adds it to its own personal library, which allows it to detect people even better in the future. And for the latest version, they're using deep AI in a 3D environment, allowing even greater judgment of speed and distance. It means an always-on detection system that sees things exactly as you and I do. So the big difference of a 3D system over a 2D system is the absolute magnitude change in reduction of false positives. And it's, it's at that point that you're really saying that this is mimicking the human brain. We are not aware of any other example anywhere in the world of anyone doing similar work. This means that you'll get more data which will be usable, more actionable data. The real world and the computer world are coming together. So what we've learned is that in either 2D or 3D, deep AI isn't easily outwitted. And a little bit like Alice through the looking glass, I seem to find myself trapped in my own 3D world here with no obvious means of escape. So, looks like this time you did see me.